want to go back to the Dolphins. Offense was just lights out on Sunday. How impressed were you with Tua? You know, from a variety of standpoints, I, I can't emphasize enough how impressive Tua was, like you said. And let's start, let's get away from the X's and O's for a sec. First off, we all know what happened to him last year with the two concussions. Yep. You wonder as a human being, like, is he going to be a little tentative? How's he feeling out there? Can he think clearly? And pretty obviously, he's very comfortable and is not timid at all. And that was great to see, I think, from the human perspective and from a former player that he's healthy. The next thing is there's been a bit of drama, people claiming that he's been out of shape, he wasn't working hard in the offseason. I mean, the guy threw for 466 yards and didn't look tired. I mean, he's he, doing He has an underrated arm, I feel like. And that was my next thing. Now let's go into the physical talents of it. And you nailed it, Jay. I mean, these throws, they're on time. They're right on the dot. They're accurate. They're downfield. Yes, Tyreek Hill is obviously his main guy. But he did throw to seven different receivers, I want to say. Waddle's going to be more involved down the road as well. It's not just like, hey, I need to rely on Tyreek Hill. He's distributing the ball out. It's on time. It's accurate. And the last thing I'll say is that it seems like, from an outsider's perspective, that he is such a great leader that he's rallying everyone around him. Like, yep. You see Tyreek Hill throwing his helmet, going crazy. To me, when your superstars have bought in like that, yeah. when you have a leader, that's when you really become a great team. And I saw that energy today, and I was pretty fired up for the Dolphins. This is going to be a fascinating race in the AFC East this season. Now, my question for you, uh, who were you more disappointed with on Sunday, the Bengals or the Steelers? Originally, I would say both. I think the Steelers, I will give them a little bit of a pass because we'll probably talk about it later, unfortunately, but the Niners were elite today. Yeah. So, to me, it was the Bengals. I mean, I get the rain, Jay. But you got Joe Burrow, the NFL tweeted it, yep. the highest paid guy in the NFL. He's there. You got Jamar Chase, you got Tyler Boyd, you have T. Higgins. I don't care if it's raining. You can't throw for 82 yards. He's never thrown for less than 100 yards in a game, ever. I mean, and hats off to the Browns. They obviously deserve a lot of praise. But with that offense, 82 yards is abysmal. Like, I you can't wrap your head around it. And, and again, the Browns obviously did a lot of great things, but a lot of those things were also self-inflicted by the Bengals. And for a team who's been to a Super Bowl two years ago, won a playoff game last year, they shouldn't be coming into week one and looking like that.